Revenge For a while, King Alfred was very sad. King Henry, his friend, had betrayed him. How could he? Then King Alfred got mad. King Henry, his friend, had betrayed him. How dare he? When you are a king, you must show your enemies how brave and strong you are. Kings don't do this themselves, as that would be dangerous. They send an army to do it for them. And that is just what King Alfred decided to do. Late in the afternoon, one month after Albert the Wizard had cast his evil spell, King Alfred held a, me a meeting with his knights. This time, all twelve of them arrived on time. Sit down, said the king. I have something important to tell you. We are here to serve you, said Sir Tom, as one by one the knights sat down at a long table. I know I have told you how much your bravery means to me, said the king. I think you are the most excellent knights my kingdom has ever seen, or indeed may ever see. Thank you, your majesty, said Sir, Sir Ed. We rejoice to serve you, said Sir Tom. I have decided, explained the king, that our kingdom must fight King Henry's kingdom. We must strike back. We must punish him for his treason and evil deeds. If I may say so, said Sir Ed, that is an excellent idea. Indeed, said Sir Tom. We should show him who's boss around here. Just what I was thinking, replied the king. And that is why I have decided to send an army to fight against King Henry's army. I won't lead the army myself, you know. No, indeed not, agreed Sir Tom. That would be silly. Yes, very silly indeed, said the king with a smile. No, our most respected knight, the leader among leaders, the fighter among fighters, will lead the army. My other brave knights will assist him. Eleven of the twelve knights looked at each other eagerly. Each of them was hoping that the king was going to pick him to lead the army. As the king was about to say which knight he had picked, Sir Gus fell off his chair. The reason for his fall to, is easy to explain. That afternoon, after eating a large lunch, Sir Gus went to sit in the king's rose garden. It was there that he was stung by a bee. The bee had stung him on the bottom and he was finding it very difficult to sit down. In the end, the pain was too much for him. He fell off his chair and landed in front of the king.